Hey, thanks for joining me again for another 3D video in Blender. Now today to continue our space exploration series, we're going to be modeling a space helmet. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll get some inspiration and some ideas for some of the models that you want to make, and also the basic tools that I'm using to make this one. So let's go ahead and open up Blender and we'll get started. So when it comes to making models that contain two or more objects that follow the same contours, I personally like to start out with just one profile shape and then cut and separate it out later. So for now, let's import some basic shapes, and I'm actually going to cut it in half at the beginning just so that right from the start we have symmetry on both sides of the helmet, and that'll help us generate that basic profile. have this main profile of the helmet we're going to be adding a visor which is going to end up being a different material than the main body of the helmet so what i'm going to do is copy this helmet shape we're going to add a cylinder that's going to act as the border between the visor and the main helmet body and then we're going to use a boolean modifier to cut that border out and that's going to give us the two different shapes that there are any issues that I didn't mention with using this method to create the visor for this uh, for this helmet please let me know in the comments and if you know of a different method to use please let me know that as well I'd be happy to share another video kind of displaying that uh, that better method so the next thing that we're gonna do is add some hinges or pivot points for this visor that it, so that it could flip up kind of like a motorcycle helmet I got that idea from finding this picture on Pinterest <music> Now I wanted to create a different shape for the hinges than this picture, so I thought that since we're making this blender, why not use the orange blender logo? I'm just going to use some cylinders and rectangles to make the blender logo. I'm going to join them together and then I'm going to use the mirror modifier to copy it to the other side. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but we're going to find out. Okay, so I want to add some more 3D elements to this model, so let's go ahead and add some more features to the main body of the helmet that could act as sensors, or communication devices, or any type of maybe breathing equipment or something like that.
happy with this model and now it's time to give it some color. coming up with the design for this helmet. Now there were a ton of images and designs out there to pull ideas from, and it's always really cool to make these videos and see those ideas come together into a unique design. So thank you so much for watching, and if you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos or series, please leave those down in a comment. And if you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and hey, if you have any friends that want to get into 3D design or 3D modeling, please send them my way by sharing this video. Alright, thank you so much again, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.